Welcome to 22 News at 11 this Friday night. I'm Barry Krieger. And I'm Alicia Rodriguez. Westfield State President Evan Dobell's decision to retire comes in the middle of an investigation into his use of university funds. 22 News reporter Eugene Cho joins us now after speaking with the chairman of the school's board of trustees, which is being sued by Evan Dobell. The Board of Trustees Chairman Jack Flynn is in the eastern part of the state tonight, but I did talk to him on the phone. I also spoke with parents and students here at Westfield State University about President Dobell's decision to leave the school. Westfield State University President Evan Dobell late Friday sent a letter to the Board of Trustees announcing his retirement. In it, he wrote, of course, this was not my chosen path at this particular time. It is instead the result of the university's actions and failure to abide by the terms of my contract. About three weeks ago, the Board of Trustees placed President Dobell on paid administrative leave after a 10-hour meeting behind closed doors. The board also hired a Boston-based firm called Fish and Richardson to further investigate Dobell's spending habits. Dobell sued the board after that meeting, claiming his contract does not allow them to place him on paid leave. Neither Dobell, his lawyer, nor Chair Jack Flynn would discuss the status of the lawsuit. Westfield say parents and students told 22 News they hope this will be a quiet ending to the spending controversy. For all parties, it is probably for the better. The uh, quick exit, not long, drawn out, messy, is the way to go. It sounds very suspicious. Why is he all of a sudden deciding that he wants to leave? And I don't know what, who's telling the truth and, or anything like that, so I can't say, like, you know, good riddance, but yeah. The school is expected to announce soon the process of selecting a new president. Live in Westfield, Eugene Show, 22 News.